Stand up and give a big hand to Ben Ram. Good to see you, buddy. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is amazing. Do you have a question? Vanessa was up on the screen back there. Vanessa, are you still there? Bring her on up. This kid here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> he was so obsessed. Everything that you are going to do to save the planet. And they won the national competition exposing the idea of oh, how that's you're awesome. going to bring that's awesome. all the money in the planet. So tell you what, shoot me an email and you guys should come do a lab tour. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Hey, you guys so feel free to come in. Nice hey, to great to meet you in person. But, you know, based on seeing you guys on Tony Robbins, we were just so excited to have you. Are you guys ready for the lab tour? Yes. All right. Yeah. This is great. Thank, so Thank you guys so much for coming. Picture, please. Oh, yeah. Picture. Awesome. Thank you so much. Today, you guys are going to get to meet all of our species teams. Colossal had specialty made lab coats for you guys. That's actually sick. Let's so go. This is so cool. So when Colossal first uh, existed, we announced we're bringing back the woolly mammoth and the thylacine. The next species that we announced we're bringing back from extinction was the dodo bird. So one of the cool things about bird eggs is that we can collect a sample from the embryo, we can seal it back up, we can let it develop some more. Do you see the embryo? Yeah, right I see there? it. Yeah. Do you see the heartbeat? Yeah. Oh my there. gosh. It's very exciting. So we're gonna head over to the thylacine neighborhood. Tazzy is right, Tazzy the tiger. This is what these guys look like. This one right here is the dunner, little mousy uh, marsupial, and then we're gonna make this thing. He's so which cute. Is a Tasmanian tiger. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> so what we're gonna have to do is edit the dunner's DNA to then make it more similar to the thylacine. And then you flip, you flip that switch. That's so cool. So are the yellow ones the ones that need change? They need the change. That means we can grab it and we're good to go. Nice. Those editors have to get inside our cells, so we use this instrument here called a Lonza nucleofector. It delivers a very short electrical shock to the cells that allow the DNA to get in when it normally couldn't. Hit start, and there it went. So that just delivered DNA inside the cell that can allow genes to be edited. Zero errors. Please. Exactly, you did it perfect. So that allows us to start preparing these cells to make an animal out of them, which is really exciting and cool. Out of 10, how cute would you rate the <laughs> thylacine? <A> 12. <laughs> That's not awesome. What would you rate it? A 20. 20, A 20. Out of 10. Oh, nice. Okay, we're gonna head out over this way. So this is a 3D printed thylacine skull, and you'll see it can do that 90 degree open. It's gonna eat you for breakfast. <laughs> oh, delectable. Awesome, we're gonna go to our last species. Do we know what that is? The yes. woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth. Dinosaurs went extinct about 63 million years ago. Oh, Mammoths lived around. until 3,000 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah cool. we actually based our DI uh, competition on this. Really? Yes. Okay, so you guys are experts. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Today we're gonna demonstrate to you the cloning. Is someone want to help me to do the mammoth? There we go. There we go. Got it. Oh, can I help? Here. I have one. <laughs> To clone the mammoth, we need to collect samples from the Arctic. Can you remove this mammoth from this permafrost? Please? Out. And so we have the fusion process here. Elephant cells, and you have the DNA from the mammoth. And if everything goes well, we're gonna have the mammoth. You see, there's like a balloon with two cells inside. Is yes. it? I see it, I see it. Nice, that's an embryo. Cool. One day we're gonna have something similar as we have in the world, but with more, more care. Let's go. We wanna do one more fun thing on the woolly mammoth for you. So you're gonna get to see some edited Asian elephant with woolly mammoth edits. What are two things you would change about the Asian elephant to make it look just like that guy? Uh, her. And a uh, tusk, I noticed that's, the- That's the two big ones. Wait, that's actually real? Yeah, that's like yeah, actual yeah. prehistoric hair? It is, yeah. So that's oh actual my hair. God. We've modified dozens of different genes to make edits and change genes that are involved in hair and tusks. 
more. I can see it. Do you see those? Yeah, the little That's purple huge. dot. Each one of those little dots or chromosomes are where the edits happen. Mm -hmm. And when they're normal, and then we turn them into animals. What do you name him? Yeah, what are some suggestions? Colossal. Yeah. Colossal, Yay. the first woolly mammoth. We love it. <laughs> have you guys take something home so you can remember this day. Um, how about those edited elephant cells with mammoth leg? Whoa. And then, Whoa. yeah. Pretty cool. Oh my god. Thank you for having yeah. me. This is incredibly oh awesome. God. Smile like you're making a woolly mammoth. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice. Thank you. It was Awesome. <laughs> what was your favorite part of it? Tazzy. Tazzy? Tazzy. You like the Honestly. thylacine team? Yes. So you guys actually get to keep these lab coats. I'm sorry, what <laughs> actually? <laughs> yes, those are yours Thank too. you. Oh my Thank God. you for visiting Colossal. I can't wait to show this to all I'm my taking friends. this to school. <laughs> If you're as excited as David about the work we're doing here, make sure to follow Colossal on Instagram and YouTube for the latest de-extinction updates.